statement as far as uh, one woman who was out of her albuterol to call Kenny Drugs and arrange for uh, a prescription to be refilled so that she could have it because she needed that. Right? These are the types of things. These are people. And Colin doesn't even pay attention or find out anything. I'm glad he's going. He's helping to kill people. But we need people to start something getting around with those petitions. And nobody's doing anything about it. I have watched this city fall apart. Okay, Councilman, can you tell us about 661 Factory, what's going on down there? I wish I had knew what was going on down there. Everything's a, uh, I, to be honest with you, no, I, I have no idea what's going on down there. The only thing I know is that when I found out about it, I had to hear it through the news, number one. Number two, uh, what I did find out was that Scott Gray said the county was going to take, be the lead in this because I guess, God forbid, I mean, those poor people, they had to go through DSS. And yeah, the city has the property, that section there, but as far as placing the people, Right, yeah. so the, I understand that some of the people that don't want no assistance, so they're there, and also now that it's more homeless people are showing up down there now, and Scott Gray said they want to end the encampment by midweek. And um, so the city code- That sounds like a city problem then. Right, it is. It is a city problem. Um, I'm just interested to see how the city w will react to it. And also tonight, um, hospice. You said tonight hospice, hospice was going to have a hot button issue maybe tonight. So w what is going on with hospice? Are they going to bring that off the table? Oh, we hope to. Okay. We hope to. And, you know, gee, they have to make up their mind. We have to make up our mind what we're going to do with hospice, if anything. I say they're, they're great for the community. 85% of their patients or within the city, even though it says Jeff Hospice of Jefferson County, which some members say it's a county problem, it isn't. They need the money uh, for their for their additions. It would put good ventilation in there so anybody could mm -hmm. go and visit, you know, with the COVID. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a hot button tonight, I think. And uh, I'm all for it. What the other members are for, I don't know, but I'm gonna try to bring it off. So table. last time it was tabled, it was tabled at three to two? Yep. All right, so we just need one vote, really, to uh, swing it back your yeah, way. Yeah, but how am I going to do that? I don't know. I can't even get one vote for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Councilman. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Mr. Mix, yes. uh, can you ask a couple questions about 661 Factory? In the middle of the night, um, why were these people evicted such a late time with no place to go? So the building was unsafe. Um, what's the plan with the tent city? So you said that you believe in the county's working on that. Um, can you come over here so I could get a better vo volume? Okay, you're fine way over there. All right. So I talked to Mr. Gray, and he was telling me it's a city issue. I spoke to Mr. Gray on Saturday. So you don't want no comment about the homeless people? Well, they were playing social services and housing. So it's, he just said it's homeless is handled, handled by the county. Have you gone down there at all? Did you go down to visit 661 Factory? You have not gone down there to, to, to look at it or meet the people? Okay. And uh, what's this over here? <laughs> Site plans for, I can't read it from this far back. Well, this one. So it's New York State Route 3 Arsenal. A car wash. A car wash? And Renzi's. All right, so we got some. And these are already approved plans? Well, the council will be considering these. All right, so the council is going to consider some plans for Renzi's and a car wash. And this is on Arsenal Street is a car wash. And where's Renzi's going? Down in the industrial park. I'm sorry, it's really loud in here, as you can see. All right, thank you, Mr. Mix, for having the interview across the room.
Thank you, Mr. Mix. Okay, Councilwoman Ruggiero, can you tell us about 661 Factory Street and what the, plan to, what the city plans on doing with it? Well, I'm hope, actually hoping to find out tonight what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I was over there Wednesday, uh, talked to uh, Scott Gray and Tim uh, Ritten from mm -hmm. uh, the county, and they said they were taking the lead on it. Uh, and my understanding is, is that codes may have been over there to inspect, but uh, the last I heard was it sounded like maybe they're going to find spots for where to put these people because apparently it's not ready. So have you heard that more people are actually showing up to Factory Street? Uh, more homeless people are um, no, encamped there now? No, I was not aware of that. So um, from my understanding when I was on there, there Saturday, there were six people who actually were residents there that are homeless, but there was at least a dozen other people. And 7 News just put out a news story a few hours ago um, about that. Well, the, I didn't even hear about the Dean building on High Street until mm -hmm. today that apparently that was condemned. Yeah, I didn't know about so that either. I don't know where those people went, so I have I have some questions that I definitely want to, you know, bring up and have a conversation about. So. All right, I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Okay, Councilman Campo Pierce, uh, could you tell us about 661 Factory and what the city plans on doing? Sure, so I know um, that the mayor and the city in general, city government, has been in contact with the county working to address the situation as quickly as possible. I was over there recently. Um, it's a truly unfortunate situation, um, and I'm hopeful that they'll be able to get things fully resolved in a few days and get people placed in, in shelter, appropriate shelter, as quickly as possible. So 7 News reported that uh, the county is going to try to shut down the encampment by midweek because of not only is it unsafe for people, but other homeless people have been showing up now. I did hear that, and I just saw that on the news. I don't have all the details, but um, that is something that I just became aware about, aware of, I should say. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yep. I have watched this city fall apart day after day, year after year.